Good morning guys, welcome back to Fishing with Nordby. Day two of the FLW Toyota series out here on Lake Eufaula. And we are boat number 48 today. I'm out here with Ryan, how you doing? Good brother, how are you? I'm doing good. Sun is just coming up guys, look at that. It's beautiful this morning, God is good to us. We need some big bites today. We got some ground to make up. He had 12 pounds yesterday, so we gotta get him a limit. And then I'm, I'm going to try to catch 20. 20 to 25 pounds is the goal. We're going to start maybe some grass, look for a big bite up early, and then we're going to hit brush probably the rest of the day and look for some big bites. So that's where the big bites came yesterday, and that's the goal today. So getting ready for takeoff here. It's a beautiful morning. It's about 70 degrees. It's going to warm up to around 90, possible showers this afternoon. So got the rain gear in the boat just in case. But we're ready to go get them. You ready? Absolutely. All right, let's, let's go, guys. Here we go, pulling up to the first stop of the day. Fish a little grass, try to get on a little morning bite. Forgot to put sunscreen on while we were waiting. Still got some? Sunscreen? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just forgot to put it on like a rookie. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The ones we caught shallow this week were all on white. But I'm sure they'd have eaten the other one too, you know. Right. It's just a matter of getting it in front of their face when they're hungry. Right. Did you throw anything but white? Um, we threw like green pumpkin a little bit and we threw, I threw a June bug lizard and a green pumpkin worm as well. And we caught them on those too, but the big ones all came on a white swim jig. Need sunscreen. That's for sure. Yeah, I was uh, running low on one, so I got another one. Oh, yeah. Wind blowing at all? No, not yet. Uh, it's supposed to be like four. Do what? Not all over your screen. Oh, yeah, you're fine. It's supposed to be like four miles an hour today, I think. But who knows, if a storm coming in, it could pick up. Let's do it, man. Let's go catch some pigs. Should be able to pick a few up today doing that while I'm casting in these up here. A lot of the bites have been coming outside the brush. Like, they haven't been all the way in it sometimes. No, nine foot. We're gonna fish like 10 foot brush piles all day. Piece of the brush. There's one. Net. Oh my gosh. What a dink. Wow. I accidentally pulled up on the brush pile. We're like right on it right now. My waypoint was off. 
He is oh, 13 and a half. 13 and three quarters. Well, number one. See ya. Yeah. Gosh darn it. Couldn't have just been a big one. My waypoint shows the brush pile like 40 feet up there, but it's right under us. <laughs> it's not good. Do what? Yeah, it's five foot. Deeper than the two to four foot ones. It's been pretty sunny, so they should be up under it. There's one. No. I know. Thank Baby. <laughs> I know, right? Flipping, skipping up under docks is way easier with a spinning reel for sure. Got one. Ah, uh, he's all right. Dink. Dinker. I don't think he's gonna measure and he's super small. 12. Dink. Take my whole lizard. Take your whole lizard? Yeah. <laughs> what is your deal? Those people were just standing right here with a boat right here, <laughs> you know? You would have thought, there's one. Uh, he might keep, no, it's all right. Hey, if you need a net, you net. All right. If they're any bigger than this guy, we might as well bet him. He's gonna keep, I think. Baby, gosh. Yeah, he's 14. I better check him with his mouth closed though because he's barely 14. Barely. Yep, barely. I got the skunk out. It's like 11 o'clock. I know. Now we can hunt for pigs. All right, no more playing around. Pigs are going to bite. You got one? Get bit? Probably was. You what? There's one. Yep. Sure. Ah, uh, nah. I thought he was a little bigger when he came out. You got a little Texas rig worm you can put on? Get your limit? There. Yeah. All right, 15 incher. There's a bunch of these around these docks, I'm telling you. I'd like you to at least get a limit, you know? Yeah. Help you out big time. Another one. 
There's could be some big ones around these too though. There's one, a good one. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right. Well, come on, fish. Thank you. All I heard was good one. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. There we go. Number three. Let's go. Two and a half. Maybe he's skinny. But he might be two and a half. We'll take it. Okay. He was in the sun, man. What? Yeah. He was like a foot and a half out from that ladder. Weird. What's he doing in the sun? Cause my cast. My cast went like right there and I just worked it back. There we go. That gives me a little confidence. Yeah, you that. That's a little better fish. Yeah. Confidence there's some better ones here. Shoot. Do what? There he is. Yeah. Good one. Good one, bro. Good one. Oh, come on. It's coming up. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. All right. Let's go. Three pounder. Excuse me. Let's go. All right. Thank you, Lord. We got like less than an hour to fish. This brush feels so good. Get, oh, there you go, you got it. I let him take it longer that time. Wonder if it's the same fish. I bet there's multiple fish in there. I bet. There you go. Good one. Yes. yes, yes, yes. That was the one that just bit me, probably. No. Who knows? We've got bit a bunch down there, man. Let's get the limit right here. Let's do it. There's still decent fish on there. I know. Yeah. I know. I just found it. Let's go. Stay down. Come on. Stay down. Come on, buddy. Man. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Stay down. Dude, you got a giant. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. There you go. Good job, man. Good job. There's a four, five. That might be five, man. Hey, give, give me, me some. some. Good job, good job. Thank you, Lord. Glad we stopped here. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. Let's go. Dude, he's fat, too. He is huge. Was he right on the back side of that? He was, uh, I threw against Were me. you on the bottom? Yeah, I was on the bottom. Dude, heck yeah. That's deep. Oh, man. As soon as it fell? No, I worked it. You worked it? Yeah, I totally nice. worked it. Nice. Wow. 12 feet. Wow, heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Dude, that piling was in 30. Good job, man. Good job. Let's go. That'll help. That'll help. Yeah, it's just on auto. Man, I'm gonna put this on a spot lock. I'm gonna drop shot down there because I broke my jig off at the last spot. I just threw it right there. Are you on the tip? On that line, drop it to the bottom. Yeah. I'm just gonna spot lock us here. Dude, give me some. God, man, that's a good, good one. That was a good yeah, one. That felt good. Real good one. All right, guys, we just pulled back into the ramp. Got four keepers. My co's got three. 
and we're gonna go weigh them in. We're gonna go see how people did today. It was a tougher day for us, for sure. I hit some areas, we caught some big ones in yesterday. We didn't even get a bite today, guys. The, the brush piles where we caught the four and a half, and my coat caught the five and a half yesterday. Not even a bite. So we hit like 10 brush piles. You, you didn't really see it all. 10 that I hit yesterday that are in the juice, no bites. So we're gonna go weigh in our fish here. Let's bring in the bags, see how we did. Let's go. Some water. You want me to get you some water? There you got it. Yeah, I got it. Alright. I think it's probably four and a quarter. Nah, no, six was. He just said six was big today. Yeah. I know, right? The biggest one of the day, right there. I'm so mad about it. I know. Pitiful, man. Yeah, don't let them get away. It's hard enough to get those dinks in the boat. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's mine. Hold it for yours. That's a stud, bro. Pretty fish. Really pretty fish. Decent one. Hey, that's a good one too. You had three good ones, man. Uh-oh. Four and more. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, you. Andrew. Thank you, Neville. One more. <laughs> Andrew Norton from Gunnersville. How you doing? Hey, hey, bro. How are you? Good. Need one more. Need one more. Got my four bass. Almost limits, what I call I know, those, man. I know. 10 pounds and 13 ounces yesterday. Andrew, four bass today. Eight pounds and two ounces, please, Amanda. Eight, two, please, for Andrew. Eight, two. She got it right there, brother. All right, thank you. You have yourself a good afternoon, You buddy. too. How about Ryan Arnold up here with me? Ryan had a pretty good day one. 12 pounds and 11 ounces. Come. Yeah, we can. Let's weigh them all first. Ryan's got three today. They're gonna weigh eight pounds, 13 ounces today, and he's wanting to check one for a big. Let's see how big it is. It's gonna have to beat five pounds, 10 ounces. Nope, right here. Oh, you're good. You gotta beat five, 10, brother. That fish looks bigger, but it only gonna go four or six today, my friend, but it still helps you out, brother. All right, guys, weighed in eight, two for four fish today. Not the finish we were looking for. Um, not sure what place that'll put me in. My co had three for 813. So he had one big one. We think it was a spotted bass, guys. We were checking it out, looking closely. It looked like a spot. Did you have fun today, man? Ton of fun. It was a blast. It was a good day. We just didn't get a ton of bites. Kind of rough out there. Um, I just didn't get on the deep fish that everybody else was finding, all the locals and whatnot but they were not in my brush piles unfortunately but anyways we're gonna get out of here i hope you guys enjoyed that episode you, you gotta keep fishing the tournaments you know you're gonna have bad finishes you're gonna have good finishes we're gonna keep grinding and we'll get them the next time so god bless you guys we'll catch you next time here on fishing with norby